On Wednesday, October 16th, Mountaintop News traveled to Weaverville, North Carolina, along with Pikeville Fire Department to donate a load of hurricane relief supplies. Non-perishable foods, toiletries, cleaning supplies, and much more were brought in to contribute to the relief effort. Though Hurricane Helene has caused much damage and destruction, the residents of North Carolina stand resilient. So these supplies came from Pikeville. Some of the other supplies came from other locations that were already here. Um, people from Barnesville, Spruce Pine, Lake Lore, all over Western North Carolina are coming here to gather supplies. So they have these little teams of people that are going out into the areas that can't get out. They can't get, there's no road access, but they can tell people what they need. So those people are then coming back and basically shopping for these people that can't get anywhere and that have nothing. So those people, those little teams come in here and they collect what everybody asks for, what everybody needs, diapers, wipes, formula, water, food, hygiene products, um, kitchen supplies, cleaning supplies, and then they go back and they deliver them exactly what they need, exactly what they're asking for. Journey into the extraordinary. Blast off from any of our three locations, Coal Run, Caney, or South Williamson, Hideaway, Novelty Smoke and Vape, Necessities are changing on a weekly basis, which is why it's important to monitor those that have been impacted and assess their needs. Surrounding regions are donating all they can during this trying time. A lot of the changes, or a lot of the needs are changing daily. So yesterday they needed diapers, today they need paper towels, next week they need heaters, generators, things like that. Keeping up to date, there's a lot of social media platforms um, that you can follow and and keep up with the day-to-day -day needs. It's getting really, really cold. So blankets, sleeping bags, propane heaters, any form of heat that does not take electricity is in high demand because people are now living, if they still are lucky enough to have a structure, that structure does not have running, running water and it does not have heat. So if they don't have a fireplace, they're going to need another form of heat, which will be propane, um, standalone heaters, buddy heaters, anything people can get their hands on. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.